Hey everybody, this is Adam from Tyrant Designs. Today we're going to talk to you about Tyrant Designs' V-Signature Glock compatible sights. What these are is a front sight and a rear sight set. You get both pieces and this is compatible with all standard Glock model pistols. What we're going to do today is show you how to properly install them on your pistol so they're appropriate and ready to take to the range or carry. We're going to go over the key features of them, and then we're also going to go over anything else that you might need to know about our new V-Signature Glock compatible sights. So first off, you're going to want to take the Glock pistol that you want to install the V-Signature Glock compatible sights on. Today we're going to be working with a standard factory configured Glock Model 19. Specifically, this is a Glock 19 Gen 5. To start off with your Glock pistol, what we want to do is make sure that the firearm's unloaded before we go through any install or disassembly of this firearm. What you can do to do that is rock the pistol open, visually inspect that it's unloaded, manually inspect, and now we know that the firearm is unloaded. So what we want to do is get this firearm down to just its slide. We won't need the frame or anything beneath that to do this install today. So first we're going to take the magazine out, set that aside for now, and then we want to strip the slide off of the frame. In order to do that, you're going to want to have the slide moved forward and you want to move this takedown bar down so the slide can strip forward. What most people will do with their shooting hand, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, is take an overhand grip of the pistol and just squeeze it rearward a quarter of an inch. Then from both sides, you can pull on the takedown bar and let the slide go ever so forward a quarter inch. Now your slide is sitting atop of the takedown bar and we can let the slide go forward after pulling the trigger. Again, you want to have known that your firearm is unloaded. We've already verified that so that when we pull the trigger, we know that nothing's going to go off. Now the slide can be stripped off. We can set the frame away as well. What we have left now is a full slide assembly. We're going to keep removing a few other pieces that we do not need at the moment. One will be your recoil spring assembly. This can be set aside. Your barrel can be removed. This at the moment, we do not need either. So now we're down to just your slide. So what we're going to do first is remove the factory sights before we install the Tyrant Designs V-Signature Glock compatible sights. To start with the front sight, we're going to use a front sight removal tool. This is a hex head removal tool. And we're going to take that sight off first. You want to make sure when you take off your front sight that you have the hex head gripped properly so you don't strip it out taking it off as well as putting in the new sight. So you want to make sure that's gripping properly because we don't want to ruin your old sights or the new ones. This can be a slow and tedious process but you just want to make sure that you're doing everything correctly. I have the screw out. We're going to give it a little whack and it should fall out. So now I have the front sight, the screw, and the front sight removed from the slide. Now with the V-Signature Glock compatible sights by Tyrant Designs, you have one rear sight with chevron patterning, and then you have a choice of three front sights that you can choose. There's a white home plate design, as well as two different colored chevron serrated front sights as well. The two chevron serrated front sights are a gold and a red color. Otherwise, you also have the option of a white home plate color. So to start, we're going to remove the hex head off of this front sight. Again, we want to make sure that with our little hex head removal tool here, that's attached properly that we don't strip it out. We have that screw removed. Now we're going to place the front sight into the front sight channel hole. We're going to place that in there. Now we need to flip our slide upside down because we're going to put this screw in through the bottom to secure it tightly. What I like to do is with your front sight, loosely attach this slide here, set the slide upside down so it holds it in place. Now we can take the front sight hex head screw, put it in our removal tool, make sure it's set, and we can put it into its proper spot. This will be something that we want to make sure again that we have it perfectly caught by our removal tool 
so it does not strip out. So right now, we have our front sight installed. What you really want to do is make sure that first it has proper fitment. This is not so much that you're checking the tolerance of the Tyrant Designs V-Signature Glock compatible sight, but the tolerance is of actually the hole in the Glock slide. So now that we've verified it does fit, you'll actually want to remove it one more time because what we want to add to it is just a little bit of Loctite. What the Loctite is going to do is under adverse conditions, so extreme cold, extreme heat, it's going to make sure that the Glock front sight never walks out, nor does the screw that's holding it in place. So we verified fitment. Now we're gonna add just a little dollop of Loctite to it. I'm personally using an off-brand of Weaver Loctite, but any type of similar Loctite will work just fine. You don't want to put a copious amount on, just a very tiny bit. Now we're going to go through the same install process of our front sight. Now that we've already verified fitment, we've added Loctite. This will be very secure once we're complete and you have a fully assembled firearm and you decide to take to the range, shoot it, or use this firearm for defense. So now we are done with the install of our front sight. Next, we're gonna move on to the rear sight. And with the rear sight, there's two main options you can use to remove the rear sight. You can either use a punch set to drift out your rear sight, or you can use a sight press tool if you own one. Tyrant Designs recommends that you use a press tool because this is gonna ensure that you don't mar your slide, you don't mar the sight, and it's installed as best as possible. What we're going to do is put in our slide, and then from the right and left hand side, we're going to secure it in place. And then also vertically, we have another piece that's gonna press down on our slide to secure it from three different angles. Then we're going to remove the site from left to right. And when we install the new site, we're gonna install it right to left. When we're pushing out sites and adding them back in, you only want to move them in and out from one side of the slide. Although this is typically going to be a hardened slide, you don't want to be pushing out from both sides because then you can have loose tolerances within the dovetail of the slide. Next, we're going to remove the slide from the press tool and we're not going to punch in the rear sight with a punch set, but we are going to just finger tight press it in so it's held in place. So right now our rear dovetail of the slide is empty. We're going to press this in just by hand. We're not going to hit it or jar it in any fashion, but just by pressing it in, now we can put it back into our press tool so it's easier to work with that's not loose. So I'm going to back out these different pieces that are holding it in place. And we're going to put our slide back into the press tool. We're going to tighten it down from the left and right hand side and vertically so it doesn't shift in place. And now we're going to move right to left while we're installing the new site. This should go relatively easy because Glock has good tolerances to their slide as well as our product. Now this should be centered. If you want to verify that it's perfectly centered, you can use a caliper's micrometer and measure the gap from the left and right hand side to make sure it's perfectly centered. But oftentimes, if you're just eyeballing that your rear sight is in the center slide, you can get surprisingly close. So now we are done installing the Tyrant Designs' V-Signature Glock compatible sights. The only thing left to do is to reassemble your slide and your firearm so it can be ready for use. So to reassemble everything, just in reverse order of what we've done, we want to drop in our barrel and make sure that the barrel is fully seated in the slide, the hood is in this gap of the slide. Then take your recoil assembly and put it back in our slide. You want to make sure the plastic end is towards the muzzle, your metal end is toward the chamber. And right now it's close to being seated, 
You just want to compress it an eighth of an inch. And now to put your slide assembly on a complete frame or lower, you just simply make sure that's on the four metal guide rails and slide it on. So now you have your pistol fully reassembled with your brand new Tyrant Designs' V-Signature Glock compatible sights. We hope that you consider the Tyrant Designs V-Signature Glock compatible sights for your personal firearm as a future upgrade.